Welcome back to the podcast, everyone. I'm Will, and I got my co-host over here, the Grease. Say hello, Grease. Man, I'm excited to be here. My blood <laughs> feels like like a rabid pit bull okay. that is scared of the dark. Okay. However, super uh, energetic and excited. Okay. Because... We, I mean, we have a, a like a like a pretty legit pour today. Yeah, that that hasn't been released yet. No, we're gonna get to that in a little bit. And next, probably next week's episode, we'll have a follow up on this product because we're we have a uh, tasting with Chris Fletcher That's of right. Jack Daniels on Wednesday. And we get to hear more about it. We but uh, Grease already is kind of letting you know what that pour is. Um, but we have a new game we're playing. You're wondering why this box is in front of us. So yeah. Does that have is, my address on it? Uh, not that side. Oh, <laughs> no, dude. Have uh, I, no, this I, is just... But look, look, how, oh, look, how, look how heavy this box is. This is not tequila. not tequila. This is a box of samples that Grease found around the nook when he was cleaning up doing his home reno project. So we're going to do a little thing called wheel, not wheel, um, sample roulette, where basically oh. Grease is going to close his eyes and reach in, fish around, and pull a sample. We're going to start drinking. We don't know where most of these are from. Yeah, some things are not labeled. Some things are not labeled. I kind of hope it is something not labeled because it could be the best thing we've ever had, and we'll never we'll know what we'll it is. We'll never know what it is. I but, will say all the allocated stuff is on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I'm gonna, I did it. I, I know it doesn't look like it, but I did it on. in order of like Few special things. release. If you knew. All right. Okay. So close your eyes. Okay. Close your eyes. Reach in. Okay. And then maybe like if you want to lift things up, like I can, and you can reach in. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh gosh. It's full. Oh, you, you don't have to drink the whole thing. No, no I'm not. No, so dude, this doesn't count yeah, because this is a, one we've actually product. reviewed. This is a product sample that still has liquid in it. But this was um, from Broken Barrel. This is uh, their small batch. That's a half drunk sample. Well, okay, so it says whack C. Okay. Right. Mo uh, what does this say, Will? It says new. S new. It says whack C. New Zilt Mahel ma High. That says uh, rye, something rye. Ma malted rye. Something new. Malted rye. New Zilt. New is zilt, zilt. Thing? I don't think Zilt is a It new, doesn't matter. Yeah, we got to drink <laughs> we, it. We know. <laughs> you You've know. already had some of this no, malted rye. No, you don't. Is it New Riff? Uh, yes. Yeah. New Riff Malted Rye. Okay. <laughs> it says it says New Riff. I mean, you Here, might as well finish it. Yeah, I feel like we... This one's already been half drunk, which yeah. means you probably grazed it with your COVID lips or something. Oh. All right. So one down and about uh, 300 to go. So this, we're going to do one of these in episode just to try to knock some out. I feel like we should do two. Who's Mr. Whack? Yeah, we probably should do two. Um. So the whack the attack. Wha yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it, it, They are the wax. They are uh, yeah, okay. in the YouTube world. No, They've I come understand. to Whiskey Weekend. No, I know, but I've never heard it referred to as Mr. Whack. Why did you have, why does the label say Mr. Whack? Uh, I don't think it does. It, it just says Wax C. Oh, Wax C. For some reason, I heard it. you say Mr. Whack. Um, wax C. Yeah, so this is, so I'm assuming there's a Wack A, a Wax and B. B. <laughs> yeah. There you know, probably are. They're probably in here. Thanks, Wax. Wax. This is Waxy. Is it? It's yeah. Smell, it smells no, good. No, get it? Waxy. Mm. Waxy. Mm. Mm. The new Riff Malted Rye I've had before. This There's a lot of flavor in there. There's a weird... Um, oh, I like that a lot. I do, too. Creamy. It's creamy, yes, but a little bit of like nail polish on the finish. Wait, what? I'm thinking about like sunscreen, hoisin sauce, hoisin sauce. You don't even know what hoisin sauce is. I sure do. I had it tonight. <laughs> of course you did. What's it? But it's like? got that. It's got a hoisin sauce. I get kind of a sunscreen like, on thanks. the finish, like coconut sunscreen. I can still taste it. Yeah. Well, you did just drink it. No, the hoisin. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mm. And I haven't eaten hoisin in two hours. All right. 
So close your not- eyes, or I'm closing my eyes. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig through. Hmm. I'm Honestly, going deep. It could be Taco Bell. I'm going deep. All right, I found a good one. Did you? Oh, that's a kit. Yeah, that's this that's a kit. From Mark, it even says this is lineage, 111 proof, a father and son collaboration. Oh. All right. Hey, Mark and Kim. Uh, I'm so. And I'm, this is once again. We, we drank it. Not all of these are full. Oh, I do. Like this I one do, has had. I do casually drink them and I <laughs> take a picture of it, send it to Kim and Mark, and say this is delicious. I know. Aren't they supposed to be for both of us though? Yes. And those are them. No, those are different ones. No. I Why just, are you scooting over? I just took these pictures. Oh, you're an idiot. Yeah. I don't know what the Pina de Charintas is. Uh, Chartens. Ch- oh, Chartens. No, it's it's like a finishing product. Or it's like a wine. I thought it was... Chartens casks. Well, it's not tens. It has the N before the T. Charents casks? Charents. Charents. Like, so, okay, so it's like insurance, but without the N. Who's to say? Okay. All right. Let's try this one. Okay. You just got a little dab in there because you clearly had more. Dude. Uh, my, okay. Hey, but we've already cleared through two samples. Back to my bloodstream for a minute. <laughs> okay. Like, can your bloodstream salivate? No. Because it feels like the blood in my arms is is like rushing so fast through here. It, it's like prepping my system for this Jack Daniel special release review. Okay. I haven't it's called arousal. I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I haven't been this excited about uh, a product that we've tasted in a minute. Yeah. We've had some good stuff. We have had some good stuff but, over the course of, of years. But uh, it's another Koi Hill release. It is another Koi so that's Hill release. What we're excited about. This is a special one, though. Stay tuned. Because it's a new one. Uh, it's because, I don't know. All right, you can drink a little bit of this. Rick House. Well, you didn't give me any. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit. Oh, that was it? Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty solid. That is good. Lineage. Father and son collab. Um, I, I, you know what, though? A little I, ethanol. I think I like the malted rye a little bit I better. I do, too. Yeah. I do, too. Also, who's to say how long that half ounce that was left in there has been in there opened? Okay. You no, know, I'm just saying it's got a lot of air time. You have to. You ha- no. That was a 50-50 ratio of air to sample. No. You have... You can't you can't say that it's not a controlled sample. It literally is. We had that one out. I can't even find it. I got rid of it. But yeah, because we emptied it. It's this but, one's right here. It I can't find it. It's the one you have. No, no, the whack. Oh, it, we you put it back in like a dum dum. Oh, I put it back. Yeah, when we finish them, we're supposed to take them out. I did. I did. It's just a dead one in there. Um, this one. Is good. Yeah, I really like that. However, Will, your whole theory of like, look at all the air. They, no, they both did. Right. That one was so it's a controlled too. sample. No, I'm just saying that who knows what these really taste like. Oh. And you probably I've have seen. been drinking it straight from the sample bottle. So there's some backwash in it as well. Mm. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the sample, Kim and Mark. And is it Jeffrey Wack, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Good on you. I just call him Whack Attack. I'm bad at names, so the fact that I pulled that one out of my <laughs> hat, yeah, happy to do it. He's a good dude. Yeah. Um, so that was a fun little game uh, that we did. We're going to do that from now on because we, we might as well. You can burn some minutes on a podcast by just pulling for samples from a, <laughs> yeah. from a daggum box. We're but. grasping at straws to keep positivity going about the whiskey in. No, but you got to hang out with a good buddy of ours. Oh, yeah. Conway. Conway. Out in uh, Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Tejas. Yeah. Uh, you were out there for a YouTube convention. I was. So yeah. expect nothing to change around here. Yeah. But, but <laughs> maybe his uh, work, dude, low it, at work will do better. Dude, it's the same thing as like when I was when I was filming a bunch of like events and corporate stuff and vi- like yeah. When when I was doing that a bunch and I got home, the last thing I want to do is pick up that camera in any capacity. Oh, I understand. It's like you actually cared about that. In this, you just wash your hands off? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying, like, how many times have you and I gotten home, like, I can't do that. I can't oh, do it. A lot. I can't do it. Yeah. I, I mean, would say my <laughs> ratio of I'll just 
power through it is a little bit higher than yours. <laughs> That's true. Um, That's but true. you got to hang out with Conway. He's a good friend of ours, been a, a podcaster and virtual barn night supporter for many, many years. Uh, we've gotten to hung, hang out with him at many events. He is uh, at the root of my favorite memory from Whiskey Weekend Batch 1. Yeah. Was that Batch 1 or Batch 2? I think it was Batch 2. I think it was Batch 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Batch 2. Yeah, it was Batch 2, and you can tell the story. Yeah, I mean Conway. He decided, you know what? Either either he got called buff or he if he got buffaloed, which means he play and his game. friends right. play a game where you can't pick up a drink with your dominant hand the entire you, you, night. You drink with your non dominant hand. I think you can maybe lift it, but it's, you're not going to get called buffalo. I have to check the rule book on that. But if you are seen taking a sip with your with your dominant hand, you get buffaloed and then you have to pound, finish that drink. Yes. And then if you like do, right then and there. Yeah. And then if your next one, there's like, there's, it gets aggressive. It's just pretty, I got buffaloed. I think night one of whiskey weekend batch two, cause I thought I'll play a game and I had no, no real willpower or even forethought of like actually following through with it. 100%. Oh, and he is a sniper. He'll be across the room and be like, Buffalo! And you're like, what? I didn't even know you were still here. Dude, hell of a game. It's yeah. really fun. Uh, it is uh, It is not the wisest decision to play that game. Terrible idea. But it's pretty good. But yeah, so Conway, I guess, got buffaloed a, a number of times. And then all of a sudden, I mean, dude is chill. No, he's you, beyond oh, you don't chill. know what the other story to it. I don't know what caused him to oh, walk no, into no. the room. We were raffling off. No, we were raffling oh, off the, the Eagle, Eagle Rare. Rare for Special people. Forces. If they had made donations, we were raffling off some bottles. And he told people. If I win, I'm taking my shirt off. Yes. And we called his name, and sure enough, he's standing there at the Old Owl Tavern at Beaumont Inn and just rips his shirt off With right Dixon, in the middle. D Dixon Dedman right, right beside him. Yeah, he Dixon was like, like <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. It was, it was great. He was like, now put your shirt on because I don't want to. I don't want a, a local to get upset. There were no locals in there, I'll tell you that. I'm, I felt local. You were nowhere near a local. I'm local enough to know that there's a damn goat at Beaumont Inn. I hate you. Mm -hmm. um, so you went out to Texas. You were there for a YouTube conference. And you and I said, if you go out there and don't meet up with Conway, um, we're pro I probably can't speak to you ever again. So um, and by, you did. By the way, I, I, and I had already talked to Conway about me coming. Mm -hmm. like four months ago. Mm -hmm. So we knew it was on the radar. I know. But at the same time, you're, you can flake at a con at a conference with no car. We were just Ubering. Okay. That makes it so much easier to go get a drink with someone. And I did. No, well, I know. I'm just saying like, I could have seen you flaking if I didn't put that little fear of God in you. L listen to me, man. When you, when you're hearing eight hours of, analytical approaches, best practices, software efficiencies for a platform called YouTube. The the last <laughs> you you need to get out and yeah. have a drink. Oh yeah, for sure. I thought you were going to say like the last thing you would do is leave your bed. I did I did sleep a good bit. Yeah. I know that's why the where I thought you were going. I'm glad Dude, that there you was a 2 hour it was from 12 to 2. Yeah. We didn't have anything. Okay. Might as well have been a bullseye. Yeah. Yeah. Sleepy sleep. Well, so, right, so, right. so Conway, so Conway picked Conway. me up yeah. right outside the event. Yeah. And he took me to a restaurant that was really cool. Um, I, it was in the picture. Do you remember what it was? Because I made a joke. No, okay. I don't remember the where uh -huh. it was. You, first of all, I'm going to be quite honest with you. When you send selfie videos to a group thread. You don't even watch. Don't them. watch them. Don't care to. Dude, you're like my wife. I will not. I can't. I can't. It gives me anxiety. Can't watch them. <laughs> dude, so, they're totally docile. Nah, I just can't. And dude, I can't. I also, I'm like, you're the, I, like, in my head, I'm like, what's the last thing I would do if I was going to meet up with someone? Make it a performance. Grease, he's like, I'm going to take 15 of these selfie videos no, and blast them. No, we had a blast, dude. It was at the end of the night. He was taking me home, and we were, I mean, I was, I, 
I we got after it. So, but you went to a restaurant at a place you can't remember. All this checks out. Yeah, but you had let's a good just time. call it diplomacy or something. Okay, something that we don't we don't have in diplomacy. this country. Diplomacy. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll look it up. So you did, I just I just sent the picture. It's in there somewhere. I know. But, it's easy find. Oh, no, actually, it was a video because I was filming oh, Conway's. Oh, well, I definitely, I definitely did. <laughs> well, I was see. filming Conway's butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're fine. They're docile. I'm just weird. <laughs> just filming his butt. Like, what? Like, it. It was recent, Will. This I is know. not recent. You're back at my when I cooked nachos <laughs> on his phone. Okay. Cooked nachos. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. So Conway picked me up. We did dinner. Uh, had a Caesar salad. It was great. Um, but then he took me to Caesar salad. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't that hungry. And but then he took me to uh, the club, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. Did I, you really refuse a drink at dinner? Yeah. Why? He just asked me if I wanted to get a drink, and I was like, no, I'm good right now. And he asked me that why, and I was like, because I didn't know what I was going to get into. Mm, you're a cheap date. That's for sure. I am a cheap date. Yeah. I, I don't, I'll I, have a Caesar I, salad and no alcohol, please. I do not like it going to a restaurant and ordering a whiskey that I have. Or the, why wouldn't you get a cocktail at dinner like a normal human? I would have gotten a cocktail. Whose drink was this? But I just that was mine. Well, where was this? That was at the club. Oh, okay. And if you're wondering what that looks like, youtube.com slash the podcast. Oh, culinary dropout. Culinary dropout. I love that you called it diplomacy. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, dropout was close. It starts all right, so was, how was culinary dropout? How was your Caesar salad? I love you went to a restaurant and all you got was a salad. Yeah, it was it was petite. It was nice. Conway got a salad too. Well, because probably he didn't want to embarrass you. Well, I thought he was going to take me somewhere nice, okay? He takes me in there and he's like, I've only had this place like one time, one other time. Yeah, but he took you to a place he thought was you would enjoy. To have a nice dainty salad. Sounds like it sounds like you phoned it in. Because okay. you know for a fact. So you had no drink. He's, all you his had favorite was favorite restaurant salad. is not one that he went to like a month ago. So you went to a place, you had a salad and no drinks, and then you went to his his whiskey club. His whiskey club, which yeah. is is a fascinating concept. These okay. guys just got together and they have this like condo, and you go in there and there's like and upstairs with an office and a tasting room. There's a bar up there with some like uh, nice furniture to hang. Did you move any of it? They have bartenders there from, I want to say it's like from four to 10, like every night, mm. pretty much. Nice. And you just go in there, go up to the bar, tell them what you want. And then like it, I didn't. I didn't necessarily know to to do this at all, but um, Conway like ended up just like tipping him on Venmo or whatever it was. Nice. So it, it was a interesting concept because there's no cash transaction, but then you also want to support mm -hmm. this guy who is slanging I mean, drinks. It's, it's his job. Yeah, you know, and he's only working you know six hours. I assume you know. he's probably got another gig somewhere too. He probably does. Right. Um. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's a lot. So, and then you did some flights. So I had a Manhattan first. Okay. I had a Manhattan. It was very nice. Yeah. Um, had this really cool, um, uh, kind of more creamier cherry bitterness. Nice. It was pretty cool. Yeah. It was, um, it was more of a creamier Manhattan than I've had. Yeah. And it wasn't off putting, you know, I still enjoyed it. Still was in the pocket, but it was just, it was thicker i don't yeah. know it was good all right um and you had that green drink yeah well no then we went downstairs for the tasting got it now it's not a whiskey tasting they yeah. threw me a curveball yes yeah, tequila taste it was a tequila tasting right and i can drink tequila i've told you this for i don't know how many years what are you talking about the tequila is great Okay, well, you have to... Okay, let me let me just... Let me finish the story, and then you can explain to me tequila, because okay. I have questions. I doubt it. So, um, a, a buddy of Conway's, Mike, shows up. He's he's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's a great dude. I have a feeling that if 
Conway has friends. They are good ones. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree with that. Right. You know, I wasn't sure. He keeps his social circle small, but the ones that are in, top notch. Well, I, you know, I mean, there was that crew that Conway brought to Whiskey Weekend Batch oh, 2 that was hangs. super suspect. Great hang. Yeah, he, that's sarcasm, by the way. No, I love those that's guys. super sarcastic. They'll buffalo the crap out of you. Yeah. Yeah, freaking lacking lack um what what is that yeah and they they just lack they're lackey no they're yeah. great i love those guys no nah. no i don't like all right that. so uh so mike yeah he, he shows up we we just hang i get to meet really cool new people i get to see like the guy that started the the club and so basically i, I want to say it's like around like 70 ish people that bought into it and they pay monthly dues and that handles the bar and like other fees for the, for the establishment and everything. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty exclusive. It's um, everybody there was, was pretty, I mean, you, you got to think like essentially you're in, you know, a fraternity, Sure. you know what I mean? And, but there's women too that, that, that. So it's more like a private club. It, yeah. But I'm just saying, like every everybody, kind where he's of like, "This is a new concept to me." You like, you join something, you pay dues, yeah, and no, there's but, benefits to it. <laughs> there's kind of like, but there, there it's is like an HOA. There's this baseline, like I don't, I don't want to necessarily call it love or like, but there's this baseline there that was just like approachable and kind, yeah. And so, yeah, like a club. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what your club references mean. Yeah. Because this is nothing like Key Club or like or <laughs> it's not like, after school club. So right. you uh, tell me about your tequila tasting. It looked like it was nine. Was it nine samples? Uh, no, it was four. So For some reason I thought the mat had nine on it. Yeah, but it, maybe it was just three and one. Uh, you know what? It might have been image. three. Uh, my, uh, hang on, it was three and. Two. I think there might have been five. This is an easy thing to find out. We have a photo. I saw the photos. You did? There were five. Five. Yeah. So there was a yeah, Blanco. Yeah. Regular Blanco, like mm -hmm. their base that they use for everything. Mm -hmm. Then they have their like cask strength yep. Blanco. Right. Which is just a little over a, a or a little under a hundred. Yeah. Right? So they it's they don't have to distill it as high as like you do whiskey. Because yeah. whiskey you have to distill higher. Um, but then like most tequila is 80 proof mm -hmm. as, as it's kind of like yeah. the standard proof. So it's not the same as whiskey. Um, I wonder what the entry, uh, is, but the barrel entry. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, he told me, I asked this question. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, you did. Okay. I'm not going to sit here and just say, uh, but, um, so Anejo. 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 Yeah. So not what's in Yeho? N Yeho. A N Y. Yeah. J H O. N Yeho. So it's a letter we don't have in our alphabet. It's not an N, it's an N Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So N Yeho. Okay. So N Ye N Yeho. N Yeho. N Yeho. Why do you got to say it like that? I'm saying it's properly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. No, that's Spanish. You're not saying Spanish, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> well, no, you're just saying like phonetically you're like. No, I'm saying it how you say it. I know, but Spanish. you don't You don't sound Spanish. Okay. You're not Continue. saying it right. What were you saying about Añejo? Um, so that goes into a barrel, right? And Correct. the Blanco doesn't. So Blanco does not, it is unaged. Um, and then... Uh, reposado is so it's right off the still yeah I, there may be a certain amount of time it can rest like in contact with wood like under 30 days i could be wrong on that okay but then there's reposado which is like a shorter time aged yes and yes. then añejo is above a i used to know the like the classifications where it went but essentially reposado is lightly aged um, up to a certain point, uh, and I think it's still like under a year. Uh -huh. And then Añejo is aged for like a year plus. And then there are like tequilas that will classify themselves as like extra Añejo, trying to say like, I don't think that's an official classification. Yeah. We but left it in there long. But it's letting you know that it's it's a, yeah. it's a significantly longer aged uh, tequila. Like I have an uh, Añejo that's 10 years. 
aged. It's great ex bourbon barrel. So a lot of vanilla, a lot of bourbon influence, very sweet. Uh, you would love it. Um, but it's is it kind of like light whiskey, completely different because the, the, <laughs> well, first of all, got so no, it's completely different upset. because light whiskey is grain neutral spirit. So try not to have any flavor. This is the opposite. It's not distilled as high. It's not trying to strip out all the flavor. It's the lower, uh, lower still proof and still it's the same as tequila, normal tequila, but it's just aged, um, a lot longer to get a lot more barrel influence. So, yeah. Um, it's but aged, even it's aged extra the, I mean, I'm, I love reposado because I want some barrel influence. I yes. want some flavor that to was it. My favorite, but a lot of times some añejos, especially if they're extra aged, like a long time, then you're getting kind of a lot more, um, it gets too sweet. It can be, it just, it all depends. Like I, there's a lot of añejos I like, but, but also I love the flavor of, of Blanco. Like there are some really good Blanco tequilas. Yeah, that I didn't, I'll just I didn't necessarily, it, it just felt that one felt like a bad decision. Interesting. That one was like, well, what, what did you think of the still strength? Like the, the higher proof? I thought, I thought it was good. Yeah. I actually liked it better than the so one the of proof down. The, I I really like um, some blancos that are like just really clean tasting, but with like the pepperiness of mm-hmm. the tequila. Right, um, and I don't know they can just be so refreshing. And this was all Fortaleza, Fortaleza, Fortaleza. Yeah, Fortaleza, 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 Fortaleza. and yeah. Um, see, and this was just their regular, uh, reposado. Mm-hmm. And that was my, that was my top one. My second one was the Anejo and Yeho and Yeho. And then they have that. And then reposado they had the blend. Yeah. Winter blend 2024. Yeah. Interesting. So, so what was that? Like, what was, what made it different to have like more spice elements to it? Did- uh, yeah. So it's just, it, it's just a, a, a run of tequila mm-hmm. reposado that they, put in there and blend. Yeah. And so it's just that they, they basically just tell everybody like we did a special blend when it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. We did it from our normal product. We gave a different flavor profile, have at it. Nice. I it seemed very simple. He didn't be like, yeah, we blend. Yeah. You know, it's not like, yeah, we, we focus on exotic, you know, flavor. Profile. Right. Right. No, they just wanted to make something a little different where there's a story around of it. Yeah. My, my brother, Gary would come out in the, into the tree house and he would tell me, and he would tell me how much tequila is real tequila. <laughs> <laughs> he blew my mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uncle Ryan. Was that uncle Ryan? Who's uncle Ryan? I don't know. He's my uncle Ryan. He used to take you up in the treehouse and make you drink tequila. I can't tequila. say my <laughs> uncle's real name, Will. You know this. Uh, okay. You said many other names on here that you probably shouldn't have said. I don't know. Still in prison. Oh, <laughs> For taking you up in the treehouse and feeding you tequila. <laughs> and that one's in prison. <laughs> Oopsie. That, that ain't That's tequila. Why. This is real tequila. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's a, he's a, you know what? He's a, he's regular little flavor profile himself. Oh. <laughs> a little spicy, peppery. Getting, getting creepy. Oh. Um, Oh man! So thick. should we? Uh, He's anything real else? Thick. Anything else? You and in, in uh, Conway did after that? After the tequila? You know, a- after that we went upstairs and I had a um, uh, a rye old fashioned with um, uh, Overholt. Nice old, old Overholt. Overholt. Yeah, the bonded. It, yes. Yeah, and um, then then we then I kind of left with uh, Conway. He needed. What, what, how, what is the green cocktail? Oh, the green cocktail was the tequila the Blanco used nice. in, in the in the tasting. It had cucumber, ra- it had the, a radish the, on it. Yeah, so the base of the spirit was very cucumber. Okay, but there was like a little citrus in there. There was some cucumber. There was tequila, and then there was a, a garnish of the of the uh, radish, mm-hmm. which I'm not. I'm and there not, also looked like there was cilantro hanging out in it. Oh, I think that was just like some sort of basil leaf or something like that. I think it was cilantro. Why would cilantro be in that? Well, you're having tequila. 
And so that oh, profile. I've, I've, I didn't think that far. Good Lord. Mexican food. Tequila. Yeah. Cilantro. Yeah. So that was, sounds like you had a good time. Yeah, it was, it was a really good time. Honestly, I hadn't seen Conway in like three years. Yeah. Because I hadn't seen him since Whiskey Weekend Batch 4 or 3. It might have been three. I'm uh, I'm have a so, layover in scene. Dallas when I go out to Colorado. Oh yeah, like fishing. three hours. Yeah, it's like a three hour layover, and it uh, you're gonna saunter. I'm gonna I'm gonna say hey, we're gonna. It's in the morning, so I don't think we'll be doing any. I mean, I'll we'll have already been drinking on the plane there, right, right. right. But uh, I don't think we're gonna like go to a bar. <laughs> yeah, can I go ahead and get two wild turkeys and get a coffee? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we're gonna hang out. So it'll be good to see him. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Conway's it was dude. it was very it was just extremely peaceful and refreshing. Yeah, um, it li- we talked about it in the car. I was like, it doesn't feel like three years. Yeah, at all. Yeah, um, love him though. Good guy. It's very it's very kind of him to take me around and show, show me, you show his me, club. Show me the club and golly, I mean, we I I drank completely free there. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it's not free. Let's just be honest. Not for him. Right. Yeah. But right. for you, it was. All right. You want to go to the 15 and get into this? Because I know that your pit bull blood is balling. Mm, hit the music, baby. And we're back from the 15. Some say we never left, Will. All right. So we got a sample in the mail. I love how we do that musical break because we're like, one day. I mean, well, we did have advertisers. We've had a few advertisers. Not on the show. Not on the main show. Remember, the Eagle Rare Neat was a, its own episode. Dude, we had Manscaped. No. Oh, yeah. Which, that was a whole thing because we hit the number and yep. then I like sent the stuff and the person like ghosted me. A year and a half later, the like someone reached back out and said, hey, you look like you'd be good uh, a good fit for Manscaped. What'd you tell them? I forget. Did you respond? No, I think I forgot. Uh, <laughs> well, dude, tell him, tell him, heck yeah. It was like a year and a half later um, after that. But yeah, so or we, we said that like on the last episode that the 15 was mentioned. It's supposed to be advertiser break, but yeah, I know. But it's, it's. <laughs> but we keep it. I mean, the, we, that, exactly right. Big we, dreams. We keep it. We roll music, yeah, and then come right back. We come right back. It's completely pointless. Now you think we're taking a break because right. back in the day we yeah. we did do that. I explained yeah. that last week. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we don't. So on YouTube, <laughs> Green's just leave it in because he's lazy as sin. What? So. What am I gonna do with that break? Chop it. Throw music on. Go back in. Throw a B roll. Show a happy picture of us together. I don't know. Take thirty seconds of your time. Nah, not right. worth it. Listen, if we if we get a hundred likes on this video, I will do that. Okay, I will put a picture, probably the censored picture of you. Oh, okay, that's funny. Yeah. Um, all right, so what do we have? We have Jack Daniels single barrel special release. These are the annual releases by Jack Daniels. These are their their little special special allocated release that they put out. This is Coy Hill Barrel House Eight, a hundred and thirty four point seven proof Jack Daniels. Yeah, and they have not sent us details of this quite yet. Right. Yeah, I haven't gotten the email. I we get the the press release, so yeah. But I assume that we'll have um, more info to on Wednesday of this week when we uh, are on a call with Chris Fletcher. Well, I'm assuming too because it's a tasting with Chris. It's not like and today it, it, we re- it's released nationally today. No, you know what because, I mean. No, it, it's normally like in the fall, so it's probably like in the next few weeks. Got it. All right. So Breaking Bourbon has info on it. It looks like. Yeah, I do. I love Breaking Bourbon. Yeah. So the top proof is, uh, so the single barrels will be anywhere from 122 to 137.5. You know, we probably do have a press release because this is all press release language. (laughs) And it says press release. It's in our email box. Okay. Somewhere. Um, So it starts with Jack Daniels, traditional mash bill, 80 corn, 12 malted barley, eight rye. Um, then it was charcoal mellowed and then it went into new charred Oak, American white Oak barrels in September of 2023. 
So this is 11 years old. September of 2023, and then they pulled it. Uh, I mean, okay, so it could be just shy of 11 years old. But it's... Um, uh, Chris Fletcher says our annual special release series has allowed us to showcase the whiskey making credentials of Jack Daniels distillery, especially with our recent Coy Hill releases. This year's release builds upon the mystique of the Coy Hill barrel houses that see such drastic temperature swings throughout the whiskey's maturation. Coy Hill barrel house eight is the same recipe as our old number seven Tennessee whiskey, but the unique elements time and mother nature have helped to craft a whiskey with incredible range of flavors and proofs that would be impossible to replicate. So they say it's got notes of caramel and vanilla alongside hints of candied fruit, rich toffee, molasses, aromas of baking spices, cinnamon, clove, pear with balanced finish of charred oak and dark brown sugar. Retailed for $79.99. Mm. Mm. You lost me about four sentences in. I'm excited. Well, all like, you need to I, know I, is that it's Coy Hill. It's $80. $80, a range of proofs from 122 to 137.5. Ours is 134.7. So on the higher end of those. Yeah. Where's Barrel House 8? It's on Coy Hill. There's just is a, that the same? Is that? I think there's so it like, have to I, be the same. Or is there? No, I think there's a couple barrel houses up there. Because we were supposed to go up to Coy Hill. And we didn't. And we, we did not. It hadn't reopened for the season. Yeah. We had a great time, you know. Oh, well, no. Yeah, we. Yeah. <laughs> they they spoiled our people. We did fine. Um, uh, it was a very cool experience. Had the but, first ever breakfast. But I was hoping to go up there and just to see, like. What it's like? It, well, yeah. Well, yeah. But, it, like, ha, are there multiple. Rick I think there's a there. I think there's a couple barrel houses up there. Okay. I don't I'm not going to say the exact number, but I think there's more than one. So is the barrel house a a classification like was the previous Coy Hill not barrel house? It did, I don't think they specified where it was from. We'll find out right now. With Maybe these barrels. Maybe. Uh oh. All right, here's one right here. All right, that's Coy Hill. Single barrel special release one thirty nine. Uh, barrel house eight. Okay, so it's one. I think there's and, two. Yeah, there is 13. two because it says eight and thirteen. So all did we just context clued? Yeah, facts. So the the just, original, I guess they pulled from both Rick houses. So that was 2021, I believe. Just say the year. Um, it's got here? to maybe up top, up top, big boy. Uh, twenty one, twenty one, and then they did a small batch. Yes. Uh, Coy Hill. Yes. And then I think they also maybe did some taster series. I can't remember, but it. Uh, I have the small coil hit Coy Hill somewhere. Yeah, you should talk off mic. People can hear you. Well, it's three seventy five. Well, that's right. It was came in three seventy five. It's a yeah. small batch. This one was twenty twenty one. So three years later, they're doing it. But all of these barrels are coming from Rick House Eight and the and 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 Barrel House. Right? I, when when I say that. Uh, it is quite the opposite of, of like, not good whiskey. <laughs> it's delicious. I mean, Barrel House, Barrel House 8, and I mean, I guess. It's magic. I, There's magic that happens up there, I tell you. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's do try it. I mean, look at how dark it, it is. So, guys, it is. I love the age. If you want to see how dark it is, YouTube.com slash the podcast. Oh, so dark dark because visually it, it looks like syrup well, it looks like maple syrup well it's not even it's not even running down the glass will it's thick it's literally it's, thick it's not running down the glass i know well. it's just hugging it okay now i'm getting some legs god those are none i get it's just a sheet well i got a i got a leg right there you one see? single leg that's a fingerprint no 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 no, no. yeah i see a smudge no, 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 you see the, the oh i see one right there i see a leg it's it, it's so it's like molasses <laughs> yeah but the Nowhere else are there legs. It's just like ah. one. Well, no. I mean, I guess you only have legs in one place. Not me. Hmm. Oh my gosh! It smells. It smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. It smells. I mean, that's just brown sugar. Yeah. It's yeah. just. It's just brown sugar. Oh my little goodness. little beef jerky. Mm. It does. It's it's leather. It it yeah. It, it's it's so leather. On the nose. Oh. I could just sit with this for a long time, yeah, just get brown hot sugar, bath. vanilla, and um, leather. Leather. I can just get in a hot bath, drop a bath bomb in, and just have an evening. With I'm not this. getting tobacco on that. 
I'm no, getting, I'm I'm getting leather. leather. Yeah. Which is just interesting. A tanned animal hide. Yeah, dude. This smells like you're like smelling a, a, a leather bag that has like vanilla extract just wiped all on the inside. Why are you are you having a heart attack? Or, cry. Is this good? Gonna you're gonna cry? It's so good. <laughs> How good is it, Will? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't wait. Hang on. It means so much to me. You have to chew that. You have so to. So great. I just chewed. I legitimate like my psychological <laughs> reflex <laughs> just made me chew. Oh my gosh! And there was nothing between my teeth except my soul. I'm just going to be silent for the rest of this episode. That's all that it needs. It just needs a long silence so you can enjoy this with us. Um, well, so first things first, it's got a hug to it. Oh, yeah. No, it's warm. Yeah. So this is... If, you're, if you got a snow day, go do... Or you do one of those ice baths, one of those polar plunges. What do you call them things? Ice baths, you know yeah, what I'm talking about? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just called an ice yeah, bath. Yeah, people go sit in the cold water. Take this with you. <laughs> Won't feel cold no more. Or you could pee. Yeah, I think I'd just rather drink this. Uh, I mean, could, you, don't you, you reuse though? I don't think people empty that thing. Well, you could do the. You could do both. Nah, I don't need to. <clears throat> you I could just pee and drink. It's like, man, it's like I, I don't want to be cold. If you keep drinking, in you're going to have to pee. Well, I don't want to be cold in there. I'm going to take this whiskey with me. It's like you're defeating the purpose of the ice bath, idiot. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go in there. Health benefits but let, but yeah, and whiskey. Like, I'm in. Yeah. Um. This, uh, <laughs> I have to have another sip. No, this lingers. It does have an ethanol, um, like mid finish esque, but the flavor's still good. The flavor's still overpowering it, but it does get a little more ethanol. Yeah, it's robust. It's, yeah, it's but robust. ma'am, it's thick. I get a little bit, I, I get a ton of leather, ton of leather, mm -hmm. which I love. Vanilla, leather, oak. But then, you know what I get a little bit on the finish? A little bit of coffee. Yeah, a little bit of coffee. I can see that. Yeah. I can't really speak into the coffee because right before, actually, when you came in, I threw away my ice cream stick, and I was eating a, a caramel ice cream bar. Okay. But it tasted like like espresso or like, something. Yeah, like a coffee. Yeah. Uh, I mean like the, the, so the I, finish I is almost like the aroma of coffee beans. If that makes sense. Okay. I don't get coffee on the nose. It's, no, it's not way at all. too sweet. No. Mm. Mm. You have to chew it. Oh yeah. I can't physically drink this. Oh man. I'm just kidding. I can, but, but but my body does react, and I do chew. Like I don't think, I don't think like I, old cow. You just out there eating grass, dude. But I am. I well, you know, I'm weird. But as a kid, do you know when I took cough syrup, how it's thick? Yeah, I would chew it. Yeah, I would. I would that sounds like something you do. I would chew it as I'm trying to drink. Dime like dime a tap. Ugh. <laughs> Ah, it's gross. <laughs> yeah, you get that cherry flavor, and you get grape. Uh, Darmita. Yeah. Oh, you always have to go grape. Yeah. The cher the cherry is it's, medicine. -y. Right. It's disgusting. Yeah. There's just like making sure. I mean, you make wrong choices your entire life. I was just making sure you didn't dude, make the wrong I, medicine choice, dude. dude it, okay. You know my taste buds are elementary, so the only mm -hmm. question that you have is, do you want cherry or grape? That is that's basically a fact and opinion yeah. situation. You You're, sent me you a 50 50 chance. You sent me some uh, Skittles video today. And I'm like, that wanna... was completely served to you. Oh, yeah, for sure. Skittles. I love Skittles. All right, Will. It comes down to this. I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's just be honest, Will. It's $80. We just basically beat our pay. 100% buy. 
It's a hundred percent buy. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Everybody's gonna be like another bottle I can't see over here. Don't or, care. Don't I'm, care. I, I won't see it either. I'm not hunting anymore. It, yeah, me exactly. neither. I'm not. I, <laughs> yeah. uh, unless we get a call, if that falls in my lap, buying it, buying it, hundred percent. There's, but there's no way it's falling in people's laps. There's no way. I mean, I guess so. I guess I, I don't know. Have, I don't know how many barrels are running. I got the rise in the Koi Hills pretty easily. Of the like LEs, the Jack Daniels, t- like th- one of the easier ones to find. Yeah. Oh, I think as far that, as special releases. Yeah, I think that and like the Maker's general? Mark. Yeah. yeah, those are like the of ones the, that you can well, try to find of the big brands. Right. Yeah. It's like Wild Turkey. Good luck, Buffalo Trace. Good luck, freaking. Jim Beam. Sometimes, sometimes you can get lucky with Beam. Get something special, mm. but this is special. I just drink more of that. This is special. The only the only question I, I guess I have is that, and I know with these special releases, there's a creativity involved. Mm-hmm. But how many times, because they've branded it, Coy Hill, right? Like, do do you think? They will come out with a special release that might be a Koi Hill product, but rebrand it in a different way. No, you just think you you just think we're going to have a Koi Hill special release every three years. No, I don't think so. I think they're just going to do it when they want. But when they release a Koi Hill, it's a Koi Hill. The special release is the single barrel special release. I got you. Yeah, and so it's the rye, they've had the malt, they've had that. So when it's the high proof from the Coy Hill Rick House, it's going to be Coy Hill. I don't think they're going to change that up. Well, no, I, I know, but like they just, let's just say there is a Jack Daniels Legacy special release. Okay. And you don't know, you don't know what's in it. Okay. Okay. And it ends up being Coy Hill. Warehouse eight or Rick barrel house eight. This is a long hypothetical. No, I'm just painting the picture. Like you created a new product line. No, the special release line. No, you said legacy special release. Or like this, just single barrel special release. Yeah, single barrel special release, and they call it legacy, not Coy Hill. Where's Coy Hill? Literally, no. It, there's a thing every time. Will Grace, It's not always Coy Hill. No, no, I know. I don't understand I'm the, talking the about, premise of your question. They've done two Koi Hill special releases. This one, the 375, and now this one. I'm just saying, creatively speaking, like so it see it just it just no, seems no repetitive. They've done a bunch of single barrel special releases. They do it every year. Yeah, I know. So sometimes it's a rye. Right. Sometimes it's a malt. Right. Sometimes it's something else. But when they've decided that they want to do something with the special barrels at Coy Hill, they're going to call it Coy Hill because they they are elevating that name. Right. That was kind of what I was asking. I didn't. I still didn't get there. No, I was just like, are they basically are they fully going for Coy Hill? Is Coy Hill? Is Coy Hill? Like I Coy think Hill. So. I think that's what they're doing. Listen, I don't. I don't necessarily. If the barrels don't um, come from Koi Hill, I'm not not going to be a Koi Hill. I'm not upset that you basically answered my question. I'm upset that you did it with that attitude. To be honest with you, I think you answered the question for yourself. It was a question that didn't need to be asked. I, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay, put your big boy pants on and drink you some more Koi Hill. Yeah, but it's Koi Hill, Koi Hill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to ask Chris. Oh my gosh. Well, hey, man, are y'all fully embracing Coy Hill? And then, like, too, when Coy Hill runs out, are y'all going to just get some other product, put it up in Coy Hill for just a minute and be like, Coy Hill? You know that they do replace barrels in Coy Hill. (laughs) And this isn't the only stuff they use Coy Hill from. Will. I hate you. I don't like you. I'm not. I'm not getting into details right now. I'm literally just trying to riff with my buddy. Okay? Yeah. You need to calm it down. I don't know because this and is one of those I don't, don't know. Don't tell me how. I don't know how stupid you are right now. No, they leave barrels exactly where they are. Okay? Untouched, presented to God. And then when they take them out, they don't replace. Yeah, they replace them. No. Not on Coy Hill. But, but with new products. Coy Hill's done, it's no, done. It's new it's make- done. It's new makeup there, bro. Old make. 
No, it's not. All right, folks. Thanks for watching and listening to the podcast. If you want to hang out with us in real life on the internet, go to patreon.com slash the podcast and be a town hall or virtual barn night member. That's where we hang out and drink with our buddies on the internet. If you think that we are the type of people that you could be friends with in real life virtually, go ahead and subscribe at patreon.com slash the podcast, or just give us $5 in the mail on the $5 level. It doesn't come actually in the mail, but Ty thinks it does. Thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate all you do, and we don't know Jack. But we'll drink it. Whoa. <laughs>